Hey fit friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness Coaching and in this video I'm going to be doing an intro to essential oils class for you. So all of the basics you need to know about what are essential oils, what are their uses, and how can you use them to benefit your health, well-being, and fitness. So the main goals of this class are going to be just to help you understand a little bit more about oils if you don't already know what they are or have very little understanding of what they are, and then help you to feel empowered to actually use them. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are the essence of the plant. So they are usually what gives it its scent and they can come from all parts of the plant. So the flowers, the leaves, the bark, uh, the stems, the peel in the case of like orange or lemon, they are basically what give the plant its immunity. They help to protect it. They help in pollination. And so when we use essential oils, it's kind of like we're borrowing from the plant's immune system in order to boost our own immune system and protect our health. And what's cool about them is they are 100% natural. So we're just taking these gifts from the earth that God has already given us, things that already exist in a safe and natural form. We're taking those and we're able to distill it down in a process of usually either steam distillation or carbon dioxide distillation and to put into these nice little bottles so that we can bring them into our home and use the power of the plant in our own well-being. Each oil is made up of various chemical components that have been studied and researched and shown to help with a variety of different things. So with one oil, you might be able to um, boost your mental health, help your emotional health, clean your house, and a variety of other things. So let's say in the case of lemon essential oil, its primary components are alpha pinines, beta pinines, and D-limonene. And these allow it to do things like help to clean your home. Um, it's great for dusting. It helps to boost your mood. Now, what's cool about essential oils, like I already mentioned, is they are 100% natural. So they are safe. They don't cause addictions. They don't come with this huge host of side effects that we get with a lot of drugs on the market today, right? So our modern medical approach, you see those commercials on TV where you're taking a pill for one thing, but it could cause 10 other problems. So essential oils aren't like that. It's very rare to have any side effects, and those would normally just be things like allergies. Some people are just allergic to certain plants or fruits or things like that. And essential oils are 50 to 70% times more powerful than herbs. So I got really into essential oils because I'm a holistic nutritionist in addition to being a personal trainer. And the more I learn about nutrition and health and how to take care of our well-being in a holistic perspective, um, herbs have become a big part of that. There's so much through plants, herbs, natural things in this world that help to boost our health, boost our immunity, help us take care of ourselves, even improve our fitness. Um, and a lot of modern drugs today actually can harm us in a lot of ways, like gut health, mental health, all types of things. So essential oils can actually be um, more effective than a lot of modern medicine approaches, and they can be more affordable. Um, considering all the different hospital bills, prescriptions, things like that that you have to pay for, essential oils can actually come down to pennies per dose, especially when you're using them proactively to take care of your health. Additionally, essential oils are actually able to permeate the cells in a different way than a lot of like modern drugs can. So they're able to actually get through the cell membrane where they can actually help to ward off viruses, help to fight bacteria, boost your immunity. So they're a really great way to supplement a healthy lifestyle and come alongside modern medicine in order to take care of yourself, feel your best, be your best. So what do you use essential oils for though, right? You have this little bottle of oil, but what do you do with it? How do you use it? So essential oils can be used for a plethora of things um, from freshening your air, clearing the air in your home, reducing the toxins, which is a great replacement for things like candles and air fresheners, which have a lot of toxic ingredients in them. They're great for hair and skin care. They're good for immune support. They're great for muscle support. They're great for temporary pain relief. They're great for helping to reduce inflammation, managing emotions, digestion, gut support, cleaning your house. Um, the list goes on and on, but those are just a few of the ways. Now, how do you actually use them? So there's three main ways that you use essential oils, aromatically, topically, and internally. So aromatically, the most common thing is a diffuser. A lot of people have seen essential oil diffusers. 
So there's a variety of what these look like, but essentially you add water into the diffuser and then drop a few drops of your oil of choice or a blend of oils to get a more potent effect. And then you release that into the air. You're able to enjoy the smell. And the way that it works is basically those molecules will go in through your nose as you breathe them. They'll hit your olfactory bulb um, and that hits the hypothalamus and limbic system in your brain, which release hormones and do things like tell your body to relax, help you to boost your mood a little bit. So different oils are going to have a different effect. So this can help with everything from calming and managing emotions um, to improving your sleep, to purifying the air of pathogens that are floating around. Our indoor air in our houses can actually be far more toxic than the outdoor air. So things like diffusing essential oils helps to clear out the air, get rid of any germs that might be floating around and help protect your health throughout the day. Another way that you can do aromatically is simply to take a drop, put it in your hand, rub your hands together, and then inhale it in through cupped hands. So you get it in through your nose. That's a really cheap, easy, simple way to absorb the oils, get them in aromatically. Additionally, you can also use things like a spray bottle. You can put some water, um, witch hazel and oil in a spray bottle, and you can use that as like a linen sheet spray. You can put it on your bed before bed, put some lavender oil in there to help you relax, um, spritz it in the air. So multiple different ways that you can get aromatic benefits from oils. The next one would be topically. So topically is putting the oils on your body. So this might be everything from putting them in a bath with, where your body is able to absorb them to actually rubbing them on your skin. Now, the way that you want to handle most oils topically is by diluting them in a carrier oil. So there are some oils that you can put directly on your skin and it should be safe unless you have very sensitive skin. But most oils you want to dilute just to be safe. Essential oils are incredibly potent. You need to be careful in your use of them. So the way to make them the most safe and the most effective is to combine them with a carrier oil. That helps to dilute down the oil, but it also helps to absorb it a little bit better um, because it can penetrate your skin better when it has oil. The essential oils are volatile. As soon as they get into the air, they start to dissipate. So the oil just kind of helps it get into your cells a little bit better. It creates a barrier for your skin too. So if you have sensitive skin, you won't have to worry about um, any skin rashes or sensitivities or anything like that. Um, and then it helps to put it on places like your feet. Your feet actually have very large pores, so it's a great place to absorb the oils from. So that's a great way to put them on. Now, a couple different ways you can do this. You can just put some oil in your hand, add the essential oil and rub it together, or you can put it in a roller bottle, something like this. So this is just a small bottle, has a little roller top, and it allows you to roll that on your skin and then rub it in like that. So it's a really clean, nice, easy application for essential oils. So this is a great thing you can do for replacing perfume. You can wear it as a personal fragrance, put it on your neck, behind your ears, on your chest, on your wrists. Um, you can use it for pain relief, just rub it on the area that hurts. Again, you can use it in a bath, great for helping to relax at the end of a night. Um, many different ways you can use it topically, but those are just a few. The last way is gonna be internally. Now this is specific to doTERRA essential oils. So all the oils that I'm going to mention are from doTERRA. I am a doTERRA wellness advocate. I became one this past year because I love the oils. Um, they are the highest quality that you can get on the market. So internal usage is not for your basic oils that you're gonna find on your drugstore shelves or um, off of Amazon, things like that. The FDA does not regulate essential oils. So someone, any company can write 100% essential oil, organic, non-GMO, and it could be completely fake. It's really important that if you're gonna use oils internally, they need to state that they're safe for internal usage. And doTERRA is one of those companies. So if you can see this, on the back of the bottles, you see supplement facts. So when an oil is safe to be used internally, it will have supplement facts on it. But again, most essential oils out there, most companies, they are not safe for internal use. So please, when I mention inter internal use, um, only use this with doTERRA or any company that is stating that they are safe for internal usage. So internal use is a great way to just get them into your body quickly, easily, really good for things like gut support. I personally use an oil called Digestin, and I will talk more about this. This, I love to just put a couple drops in my water in a stale seamless, 
stainless steel or glass bottle or cup. Um, you never want to put them in plastic because they will leach out some of the chemicals and plastics. So you need to put it in the proper cup, but you can just put a couple drops in your water um, and drink that throughout the day. Really good for helping with digestion and gut support. Um, but this is also a, a great way to get in many oils like lemon, frankincense, On Guard, um, some of the other oils I'll talk about later. It flavors the water, which usually helps us to drink more water, which is obviously very important for our health. You can also put them in things like veggie capsules, so just your basic like supplement capsule. Things like oregano oil, thyme oil, things that are really good for immunity, but too hot of an oil to actually put in your mouth or put directly on your body. Those are great to put into capsules because then you get the potency of it without having to taste it, without having to smell it. Um, you can just get it directly into your body to get to work um, boosting your immune system and helping support your body in a variety of ways. So let's take a second and just talk about quality of essential oils. The quality is crucial, as I mentioned, not just for internal usage, but because so many oils can say whatever they want on them because they're not regulated. Um, so it's really important to get ones that are the purest and most potent and most consistent that you can get. So I've chosen to go with doTERRA um, because they all of the oils have a certified pure therapeutic grade certification for them. So this is a third party testing, a rigorous set of testing. Many oils on the market, you can see like maybe one test that they do and that might come out pure. Um, but doTERRA goes through tons of testing to make sure that they are of the highest quality, that there's no toxins, there's no synthetics, there's no additives, nothing else has been added because a lot of oils out there might actually add some synthetic fragrance into the oil to make it cheaper. They might kind of water it down, dilute it with by adding some other oil in there. Um, so you're never quite sure what's in it. And sometimes there's even toxic things like fragrances in there that you don't want to be putting into the air. You don't want to be putting on your body. That's the whole point of using essential oils is to keep things pure and safe. So you only want to use the highest quality when it comes to essential oils. And on doTERRA bottles on the bottom, there's a number that you can look up at source that will let you see the reports for all the oils, see where it came from, see what the results are and make sure they are consistently getting a great product. That's always going to give you results and is safe to use. And when you're using the lower quality oils, they will probably be cheaper, but it's highly likely you're not going to get the results you want to get. But if you want an actual therapeutic effect, you want it to affect your emotions, your health, your physical well-being, um, help you to deal with sickness and things like that, you need the best quality or else they're just not going to work. And I will tell you, I used to use peppermint essential oil because it's supposed to be good for headaches, stomach aches, all sorts of things. And I used to carry it around with me. It was just a cheap bottle I got at Whole Foods, I think. Um, and I assumed because it was at Whole Foods, it was probably a good oil, but that's actually not the case, unfortunately. Um, so I used to use it just knowing that it should be helping me, but I don't recall ever feeling like, whoa, that really managed my problem, that took that pain away. Um, when I switched to doTERRA and I started using that for head tension, um, digestive issues, things like that, I saw a tremendous difference. Like when I use them within 10 to 15 minutes, it helps to relieve the tension, it helps to take pain away, um, it helps to resolve whatever ever issue I'm dealing with. So really important to get good quality so that you can get results. The other difference with doTERRA that I really like is that they are all about kind of supporting communities that are providing our oils for us. So rather than grow them locally or anything like that, they go to the places where these plants grow indigenously, where they are harvested the best, they work with farmers who know how to treat the plants, take care of them, um, and, and enable them to be sustainable for the long term. So we can continue to benefit from these plants without destroying forests and destroying trees and all these things in the process. They take really good care of the plants, but also the people harvesting the plants and taking care of the plants um, and doing a lot of good work that I won't fully go into into this video. But that's what makes me want to actually stand behind this company as opposed to any other is knowing that not only are the oils going to do good for me, but the company is doing good for the people who are producing these oils and they're doing good for the environment so that we're not going to end up with not being able to have essential oils one day because we've destroyed all the plants in the process. So let's talk about the top 10 basic oils that pretty much everyone should have in your repertoire. These are great if you're just getting started with oils, you're not super familiar. These are the ones that are incredibly versatile and just about anyone can benefit from. 
So let's start with lemon essential oil. Most people have probably heard of this, right? So lemon essential oil is great for everything from cleansing, cleaning your home, dusting. Um, it's also really good for cleansing internally. So putting a drop in your water, it helps to detox your body. Um, it's a really good mood booster. Any citrus oil can help to really uplift the mood, kind of give a little bit of an energy boost and just make you feel a little bit happier. Um, so those are just a few of the uses for lemon. I won't go into all of them, but those are a couple of ways you can use them. So I like to add this into spray bottles um, with a little bit of like vinegar to clean the house naturally or dusting spray with oil, um, just a little olive oil, lemon and vinegar to help dust um, surfaces in the house. Um, another one, again, probably one of the most popular is lavender essential oil. So lavender essential oil itself has over 100 uses, which is crazy. Um, so you can do just about anything with this oil, but it's most popular for relaxing, comforting. It's great for sleep support. It's great for skin issues. So really good on, on your face. Also good if you have like wounds and putting that off afterwards to help heal up the skin. Um, it promotes a general sense of relaxation. So a lot of people like to use it if they deal with high emotions, anxious feelings, um, sadness, things like that, that can really help with those. The next one is peppermint essential oil. So peppermint is probably my favorite and not necessarily because I think the smell is amazing, um, but because it's so incredibly versatile. So peppermint essential oil can do everything from freshen your breath, if you put it in your water, to help to soothe the stomach issues. So I use it a lot for digestive support. Um, it's also a really good natural energizer. Um, so I like to either diffuse this or put this on in the afternoon when I'm kind of hitting that little afternoon slump on more tired days. Um, it's also really good for head tension, neck tension, any muscle tension. So I love to put it behind my neck and behind my ears when I'm kind of feeling that in my head. Yeah. I've used it to get rid of ants before. You can use it for so many things. So I love this one. And when you blend, these three oils, so lemon, peppermint, and lavender. This is actually a really great blend for seasonal support. So when you're dealing with sneezing, runny eyes, coughing, things like that, that's a really great, powerful blend to use in your diffuser, or you can actually take the blend internally as well. Next oil is a blend from doTERRA oil. It's called Breathe. This one has peppermint oil in it. It also has lemon, um, among others that really help with respiratory support, opening up the airways. So I used to, or I love this um, to use before a workout um, or when I wake up in the morning and maybe I'm a little stuffy, a little congested, um, or dealing with stuff in the air that might be bothering me. So I love to put this one on both topically and smell it aromatically. Really good for opening up the nasal passageways the next one we're going to talk about is frankincense now this is called the king of oil so frankincense can do practically everything it and lavender can do just about anything now this is a very grounding oil frankincense comes from a tree and a lot of the oils that come from trees um, are very grounding like think nature's think sitting in the mountains um, very relaxing kind of brings you back down to earth this is also really good for cellular support it's also good for immunity so if you're kind of feeling a little run down a little tired again maybe dealing with head tension um, things like that frankincense can be really good it's an anti-inflammatory so any issues that might you might have dealing with inflammation it can be very helpful for that it's also great for the skin so great to add to a toner um, or to add into your moisturizer to help with anti-aging it's a great anti-aging oil okay. so then on guard is the next one so speaking of immune boosting and things like that on guard is a blend from doTERRA um, that is really good for helping to support your immune system. So this can be taken internally again, can be added to water. It's also really good for household cleaning. Um, so in addition to the oil, doTERRA actually has a whole line of like laundry detergent, all-purpose cleaner. So it's great for using in any of your cleaning stuff <laughs> around the house. Um, it's also good for purifying the air, helping to kill things floating around in the air to fight those off and to boost your immune system. So I like to put this on pretty much every day in a roller bottle. I actually have a roller bottle of this and frankincense. So to put those on, I like to put them on my feet daily just to help kind of with preventative healthcare um, to help boost the immune system. Um, again, another one I like if I'm feeling maybe just a little bit on the verge of sickness or being run down, that's a really good one. Then we have Digest Zen. 
So this one I mentioned before, I love this one for digestive support. Um, I tend to have a lot of stomach aches and things like that after eating sometimes and this one really helps with that. So again, I'll put it in a little roller bottle and roll that on my stomach. This is also actually surprisingly a great one for seasonal support. So I have a lot of sneezing issues because of stuff in the air around here. This one, if you mix it with a carrier oil and just put over the top of your nose can actually really help. So I love that oil um, for taking care of that issue as well. The next one is oregano. So oregano is a powerhouse in terms of immunity. Um, this is one that a lot of people, even if they don't know a lot about essential oils, might have taken oil of oregano when they're sick or feeling like they're about to get sick. So this is a really good immune booster. It's also very cleansing, so great to use in cleaning the home. You can also use it in cooking. So just like the herb, this is just oregano. So you can add it into any dish. Um, a good way to do that is take a toothpick, kind of dab it in there and swirl that into your food because it's very potent. So even one drop, if you're putting this into like a sauce or a meat, um, can get really strong. <laughs> um, so just a little bit goes a long way. Then we have tea tree oil. So tea tree, also known as melaleuca, um, this is a really great one. Again, a lot of people might already know about. Excellent for helping with the skin, taking care of blemishes. You can just kind of take a little dab and spot treat any blemish on the face. Very good for detoxifying, so clearing out the air. It's good for cleaning, maybe adding into a blend with lemon and vinegar to clean your house. And then Deep Blue. This is the last one I'm gonna talk about today of the top 10. This is a doTERRA specific blend. This is one of my favorite ones for fitness purposes. I really like this one for muscle support. So this also comes in a lotion to just make it easy. It's just a rub on. Um, but this one has a variety of oils like wintergreen, camphor, um, blue tansy, a variety of things that really help to kind of kind of calm down your muscles. Um, they help the muscles to relax. They ease pain. It's kind of like a natural icy hot. You can think of it that way. So it does have that like heat and cooling effect. Um, and I find this to be incredibly effective for just very achy muscles, maybe after a particularly hard workout or something just maybe got tweaked the wrong way. Really good for relieving tension. So that is basically it. Those are the top 10 oils and some of the ways that you can use them. So I hope now that you feel empowered to actually use the oils. And I want you to be able to get these into your house easily, just like I have. Um, so if you would like to get the oils, try out using them, um, I'm gonna put my link down below, but it is mydoterra.com slash renewalfitcoach. And there are some kits on there. The ideal way that you wanna get started if you're gonna use doTERRA is to do an enrollment kit because what that does is it gives you a free membership for a year so you always get the wholesale pricing so you'll see on the website there's retail pricing and there's wholesale pricing wholesale is 25 percent below the retail pricing once you have the membership you get everything at that discount plus you have the opportunity to earn tons of rewards points back um, all kinds of goodies so what you wanna do when you go to the website is look for enrollment kits on there, search through those. There are two kits on there that are gonna give you these top 10 oils um, in different sizes and they come with a diffuser. So you get a diffuser to start you right away, you have that to use, um, plus your membership, plus all of the oils to test out and try. Um, there are also many other kits that you can um, try out. There's some smaller ones as well as some bigger ones. Additionally, if you sign up with me, you will also get some extra perks like a free welcome gift, access to a private Facebook group and community where you'll get ongoing education, support, other people who can help answer your questions, and some really good education, not just from me, but from my mentors and leaders that I learn from as well. So a lot of kind of special access to different things that you won't have um, if you just like go and buy retail, for instance. If you need help, like if you want a consultation, you want to figure out what might be the best fit for you, you're trying to find some oils for specific purposes, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. And if you would like to learn more, I'm going to be doing ongoing classes, not all on YouTube. Most of them are actually probably going to be either on Zoom or on Facebook. Um, so if you want to stay in touch with all of those classes, more about like how to use them or what to use for skin or what to use for fitness, what to use for cleaning the home, things like that. I'm gonna be doing ongoing education. So in order to stay up to date with those, not miss any classes, you can go to my website at renewalfitcoach.com. On the contact me page, um, you will see at the bottom a place where you can sign up for the newsletter. If I have you on my newsletter, then I would make sure you get the updates for any upcoming classes. And until the next video, 
uh, good luck with your wellness, health, and fitness journey.